As you can see, today we're going to talk about the percent proportion. Okay? Now, I want you to write this. This is the percent proportion. P over B equals R over 100. Now, you're going to get word problems like this. P is R percent of B. This is what your problems are going to look like. P is R percent of B. P is the first number, R is the percentage, and B is the second number. Now, they're only going to give you two of three of these and expect you to find the other one. Now, if we've got what is 20% of 60, we, P is unknown. You see how there's not a number here? So we don't know what P is, okay? P, we don't know what it is. What is R? Can anyone tell me what R is? 20. Don't say 20%. It's not 20%. What is it? Just 20. And what is B? 60. It's the last number there, okay? So the first number is P, the second one's the R, and the third one's six, the B. We don't have a P, do we? Okay, now we've got to plug what we know from here into this equation. Do we know P? No, so we got P over, what's B? Equals, what's R? 20 over 100. So now you see all you have is an equation, and you just go out and solve for the variable P. To do that, you all know you cross multiply. 100 times P is 100P, and that equals 60 times 20, which is 1,200. 1, is that right? Okay. Then you're going to divide by 100 on both sides, so P equals 12. Now, you're not done when you find out P is 12. You've got to rewrite this sentence, and instead of what, what do you want to put? 12. 12. So we're going to say 12 right there. We're going to write 12 is 20% of 60. You see how we solve that? All right, so in this example, let's ignore that they already give us th this and this, and let's see if we can find it ourselves. It says find 15% of 78. Is there a first number? Huh? No. no, so we don't know what P is, do we? And what's R? Yeah, 15 because it's the number next to the percentage. And what is B? 78 because it's the last number. So now they've already got it set up here. P over B and B is 78 equals R, which is 15, over 100. What's P times 100? 100 P equals what's 78 times 15? Put it in your calculator. So 78 times 15 is 1,170. Then we're divided by 100 on both sides. So what's P equal? 11.7. 11.7. So now we got to plug it back in this sentence. 11.7 is 15% of 78. Now do you see to plug it in, all I did was rewrite this, didn't I? And then I put 11.7 in. And that makes sense. 11.7 is 15% of 78. Now today, not only are you expected to solve those word problems, but you're also expected to take a fraction and turn it into a what? Percent. Percent. Now all you have to do to do this is put in your calculator type 3, then push divide, and then push 10, and tell me what that equals. 0.3. Now, that's the first step. The second step is multiply times 100. And tell me what that is in your calculator. What is it? 30. And so your answer is 30%. So the fraction 3 over 10 equals what is a percent? 30%. Now, something you need to recognize, if I've got 0 0.3 times 100, how many zeros are on 100? 2. So I just take 0 0.3 and move the decimal to the right, how many? 2. 1, 2. Now, why did I move it to the right? Because No, because you're multiplying. Why did I move it to the right? Because you're multiplying. If I was dividing, which way would I move it? Yeah. Left. Very good. We've got one eighth, and we got to make it into a decimal. Kevin, what's one eighth as a decimal? What? One, two, five. Good point. One, two, five. Now, Kevin. Kevin, look at me. 
How do I make that into a percent? Multiplied by 100, and what does that equal? 12.5. 12.5 what? <laughs> What's this say? What's this mean? Yeah, that's the whole goal, isn't it? To make a percent. All right, Kevin, what's 13 over 40 as a decimal? 0.325. Okay, and then I multiply times 100 to make it a percent. What's that equal? Look, Kevin. Kevin, look. Just move the decimal two to the right. What is it? 32.5 what? Percent. Very good. All right, so what is P in this? In this, What is 8% of 270? What's P? What's uh, uh, nothing? P, we don't know, right? What's B? Uh, eight, eight, eight. Not A, B, not R, no, B. B. 270. 270. And what's R? Uh, eight. <coughs> eight, okay? So we're going to do P over B equals R over 100. Now, how do I solve this for the variable? Kelvin? P times. What's that called? P times 100. What's that called? Chain? Cross, Cross multiply. What's it called, Kevin? Cross multiply. So we do P times 100, which is 100P, equals 8 times 270, which is what, Kevin? Look at the calculator. 270 times 8. Somebody know? 2,160. 2,160. Paige, how do I solve for P? Divide both sides by 100, so P is going to equal what? 21.6. Okay, now we're not done. we got to put it in the sentence. What do we put it in place for? Uh, so we're going to say, say the sentence out loud, Shane. Jeremy Young, what's the sentence? No, instead of what? 21.6. Go ahead, Jeremy. I'm talking to Jeremy. Go ahead. 21.6 is 8% of 270. Shane, I told you, instead of what, what do you put? P. P. 21.6 is 8% of 270. Right, what is R? 11. 11. Okay. We don't know what R is because it's a percent and there's nothing there. What's B, Kelvin? 45. 45. So now how do I set it up? 45. 25 over what? 45. 45 equals what? R. R divided by 100. So now we have to cross multiply. We've got 25 times 100 equals 2,500. And that equals 45 R. Okay. Kevin, what do I do to solve now? Divide 45 on both sides. So what does R equal, Kevin? Do 2,500 out of 45. Somebody else, what's it equal? 55.5. 55.5. Now, Kevin, they're looking for a what? So what's it going to be? 55.5 what? Percent. So now complete the sentence. 25 is? 25 is? 55.5 percent of 45. Excellent, Kevin. So today... Y'all learned how to, let me show you. Y'all learned how to turn these fractions into decimals, I mean into percent. And then you also learned how to take any, a written equation like this, hey, a written sentence like this, and you learned how to tell me what P was, what B was, or what R was. One, two, 